back to Kids Can Cook too. Today we're making PB and JAs, which are peanut butter and jelly apples. Although with a little Valentine's Day twist, we have our little heart cookie cutter again. And I'm going to put a heart in the middle so that then you can see the jelly. Okay, so you're going to need apples, fruit leather, peanut butter, and jelly. And when you cut the apple, we, my mom cut it for me because it's round. And so if you cut it, you could cut yourself because it slips like this. And then you have blood in. It's not bad. So you want to have your parent, parents cut it for you. So as you can see, when you cut the apple, some cores are bigger and then they slowly get smaller when you get down to the middle. So we're going to use these guys because they're skinny, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're going to take your heart cookie cutter. And with the top one, fit it right in the middle and push it through. I have your little heart. Okay, so now I'm going to take some peanut butter and spread it on the one without the heart. Okay, and then, let's cut that off there. You put this one right on the top, like this. And you have this. And now we need the jelly. So we're going to take our spoon here and just get a little bit and put it right on top of the peanut butter. So now we can take this and spread it right on top of the peanut butter in the heart. Okay. And there you go. You have your little peanut butter jelly cart. And then, this is the other part. For those that, the apple slices that have a bigger core like this, you can't cut just one because then you get all the seeds in your mouth and it doesn't taste good. So you're going to take both of them and cut the heart through both of them. And if you cut one and then the other, then you have mismatched hearts if you accidentally get them out of place. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing. Take the peanut butter and spread it. So you don't have to make it perfect, because mine's all, all over the place, because you're going to put your, the fruit leather in it. So then you're going to take your fruit leather, any flavor, and then you cut it in half. I would personally choose the fl the flavor of fruit leather of the flavor of the jam that you have, but it's up to you. And it needs to be big enough so that you can set it right on there. And then take your other guy and put it on top. So now you have your fruit leather heart. You put your fruit leather in, then you can take your spoon and add the jam in on top. So good. They're like to die for. My sister ate three in like two minutes. And my mom kept having to make more. But they're really fun and easy. And I hope you like them as much as Lexi did. Bye.